Hey guys, Cho Raven here with another Draft League video. Uh, this week my opponent is Phoenix King and the Shadow Strikers. Uh, his team's up over here right now. Uh, this week we get the classic uh, Charizard versus Blastoise matchup. So that's in and of itself going to be kind of interesting, though I'm not going to use Charizard because frankly I don't like my chances against his lead, uh, his lead usage stats here. Uh, first and foremost, I think, like, the major issues up front are the G-Max Blastoise and the Garchomp. Uh, I think I have to try and make use of Porygon Z this time because, uh, I don't have much else that's gonna properly deal with that Garchomp except for maybe Weezing, but even then, Weezing's gonna get, uh, absolutely destroyed by a single ground move or a Max Quick if he Dynamaxes that thing. Uh, aside from that, the Crobat's interesting, judging from the uh, usage stats and it having zero kills so far this season. I'm going to take a stab and assume that thing's there mostly for support purposes, so probably there to set Tailwind, among other things, maybe Taunt. Aside from that, the Gastrodon could be a problem with uh, Landorus. And, of course, the G-Max Blastoise is probably rocking a nice move, too, with the Max Hailstorm about to come out. So I gotta play this super carefully, uh, but we'll see how this goes. Anyways, I will, won't keep you any longer. See you after the match. What do we got? He brought the right shoe and the Crobat, not the Garchomp. Okay. Alrighty. Did bring the mold rest though. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I feel like we give this a try. Rantaman, Compe, Lorantis. I feel like that covers me best for now. But let's see what he does. I wonder if he brought the Moltres because he thought I was going to pull Charizard's Nine Tails and he wanted to take advantage of the sun. Okay. Just throw that and blast for us. Is that just me getting to go first, or is it not Dynamax? Oh, there it is. Alright, Blastoise is getting Dynamax. That's interesting.
Could Crobat have inner focus? Don't know, because I haven't really used it all that much. Blastoise. Leftovers. It outspeeds me and I'm not going to survive another one. Got max guard. Feel a taunt coming. Both did it, huh? Heat wave crowbat. Interesting. Here is 78, Porygon's is 90. That tailwind should have made him outspeed the hell out of me. Why didn't I? Figured it would be at something like that. Tailwind petered out.
not focus firing. Got it. Lower my uh, attack power. Horse! Lynch's thumbbag! Never mind. setup can happen because he just keeps flinching me. Oh my god, this guy's team is annoying. That's three successful clinches. Come on. Thank you. 
Yep. Okay. Well, that was annoying. Okay. Well, that is an unfortunate. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate is all I can say to that. Yeah, we're going to try something. I can't believe they got three flinches on me last game. Three. Three successful flinches. And it just completely destroyed all of my attempts at setup. This guy's staring at me right now like, what? <laughs> what? Is this coming? You taunt, oh, you taunt my war turtle. That's fine. risky here on this one, but I successfully made him question himself. Shit. Wait a minute. Yeah, he knows about the Beery Berry, right? Okay, War Portal's not taunted anymore. Survive. Excellent. 
heal move. It's very effective. In either of them. Draw the Brobat? Okay. Bring in Bisher. Mm -hmm. Didn't get me much out of that. Okay. Uh, I was hoping it would be a little more. Oh, the ranks avoided it. Excellent. There goes my trick room. Uh, uh, right, this is entirely dead here. Burn the special attacker, that's fine. Poison jab. Oh, I don't resist that quite as well as I do the steel move, and you know it. Strat here is I was kind of hoping to make him waste his uh, Dynamax early so that I could stall my way through it. But he hasn't exactly fallen for that. Oh, 
Absolutely decimated by his Blastoise. Set, guarantee it's the Blastoise coming out. As now he's just sitting there like, and now time the G-Max and Max Hailstorm. This guy has played me around like a absolute boss. Match is over. Oh, Bishop. that speed boost now? I doubt it, but... Yeah, you son of a... <laughs> but now you're just showing off, man. You don't need to do anything when I lose this turn. You're just... Now you're going to do
Yep. That's it. See you in the post commentary, guys. Well, that was an unfortunate way for that match to go. Uh, round one, I had sent out Porygon and uh, War Turtle in an attempt to fake out the uh, Crobat and shut down the uh, Tailwind before it could go off. Unfortunately, I didn't realize Crobat had Inner Focus, not a Pokemon I've really used that much myself before, so lack of game knowledge there. Uh, so I wasted the fake out, but Porygon Z still got its attack off because it survived the Cannonade. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't think Porygon was going to survive turn two, so I went for the max guard so Wartrow could get a yawn off. But, uh, he also max guarded that turn, which kind of made me wonder. And sure enough, next turn, Porygon Z suddenly outsped the Blastoise, and I wasn't quite sure what happened there. He outsped turn one with the Tailwind active, so I guess the Tailwind just turned that into a speed tie? I mean, Porygon Z is max speed EV on my end, so maybe he invested more tanky in the Blastoise, and therefore it ended up being a speed tie, which my mental math at the moment didn't really think that was going to be the case, but here we are. Uh, aside from that, I was doing pretty good round one, just all of the flinches. Every time I tried to set something up, I tried to set up Trick Room, I tried to get the superpower off on Lorantis, I tried to do anything, I got flinched. It's just the lucky flinches were really unfortunate and kind of annoying, but that is just kind of how the game goes sometimes. Uh, round two, maybe I should have just gone with the same setup as before, because it was working aside from the flinches. Would have known a little better not to fake out this time. Unfortunately, I chose not to. I went for more of a... I switched things up just to see if I could throw him off a little bit, get him to waste his Dynamax up front, and just go ahead and bring in all of my power hitters later. Unfortunately, he didn't fall for it, and I wasn't able to pull the match back. He seemed to be pretty well in my head the whole time, swapping his Pokemon in and out and messing with me repeatedly, and didn't quite work. So here we are, uh, another loss, and uh, I think that was probably my last chance to pull myself out of the ranking gutters this season with the IDL, because... Uh, this is the second last match of the season, and this guy was the bottom place of the whole thing, so probably screwed for the rankings at this point. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for coming around and watching. I know it's probably not the greatest uh, content, just watching me lose week after week, but I'm learning. I hope you guys are too. And hopefully next season we do better. I need to think seriously about what I draft next time because obviously what I picked this time isn't quite doing what I need it to. Anyways, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And uh, check me out uh, live on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash IXI Studios. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and most Saturdays. Uh... Thank you very much for coming. Peace.